Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to make a <clears throat> Game Maker uh, FPS game. Uh, you will need Pro Edition for this. So, uh, what I've done is created a sprite that just uh, is 32 by 32, has a P on it for player, and um, uh, create an object and call it player, and create another one and call it floor. So player will have the player sprite that you set and make it solid and create the object um, uh, floor and make that solid. So first we're going to draw the floor, we're going to click add event, draw, go to control, <clears throat> we're going to do D3D, draw, floor. We're going to do one, one, one. Um, and then this will be the length and width of your room, which is the default is 640 by 480, and then one comma uh, background get texture, and I have a texture uploader that's called Text um, Floor, so I have that, and then we're gonna do um, room width. Uh, room width by by one twenty eight, and room height uh divide by one twenty eight, and that should be the end of that. Um, guess we'll see if there's any errors. So go into your player, and we're gonna add the um create event. And we're gonna drag in the coding, and I'm gonna make this font just a little bit bigger so you can see it. So we're gonna do D3D start uh, D3D set calling, and this will be set to false. Uh, D3D set uh, hidden, and this will be set to true. D3D set perspective this will be set to true and we're going to do the last thing d3 set lighting and uh whoops hidden we already have will be lighting and this will be set to oops false now these are the variables we're going to create next so this would be x equals x, whoops, y equals y, z equals, this is, I'll tell you what your player to be, I'll just do 55. Uh, next is x next equals x, y next oops, equals y, and z next equals z. Direction equals zero. This is just a direction variable. Um, direct. I spelled that wrong. Direct. Shun equals zero. Make sure I spelled everything right. All right. Uh, next is instance. Create zero zero oj floor. All right, and that's it for the create event. Um, alright, go into the step event, and this is the movement, so we're going to set the friction uh, to 1. Uh, next is the controls, um, so we're going to do the if statement, keyboard, check, and this will be board, W and then we're gonna set the speed to six. We're gonna uh, do if uh, keyboard check released. Uh, same thing. Board W then the speed equal zero because you're stopped. Then um, so we're gonna copy this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that there. But we're gonna do the opposite, which is S. So that means that six would be negative six, and then this would just be S. Your speed will still equal zero. Um, now we're gonna do uh, jumping, because I know I've had 
uh, when I'm making my games, I have a lot of questions about jumping. So we're going to do if keyboard check pressed. So this is going to be press it. And this will, instead of Ori, it will be VK. And then we're going to do space. And then we're going to use the if, or the then statement. Your Z will equal uh, 95. Because your default is 55. We're going to boost it up to 95. Then we're going to do um, if uh, keyboard check released. And that will be the same thing, which is VK uh, uh, space. Then you're going to use the then statement, and your Z will then equal 55 once again, which is your default. So now we're going to add uh, crouching. How do you spell it? Yeah, crouching. Crouch. Um, we're going to do if keyboard check pressed, and it will also be VK again. So VK underscore um, control. And we're going to use the then statement. Uh, your Z will equal 25. Or 25, yeah. Because you want to make your dude shorter. And the default is 55. Then we're going to do if keyboard release, check released. Um, VK control then. Whoops. Uh, your Z will equal 55 once again, which is your default. So, there it is. Go into your draw event, and we're gonna do, um, first of all, this is your eye sight, and uh, this will be direction uh, minus equals display get. Uh, mouse get X and then this will be um, I forget how to put this is it with no I think it's get X but then I think it's comma room uh, with no nah, yeah room width divide by 128 comma no 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 I think it's minus Yep, minus, and then comma space display mouse get y, and then this will be minus um, room, and this will be height divide by one twenty eight. So that should be the end. I'm not sure why it's oh. Uh, maybe it's. I don't know why it's not saying that's right. Um, direction minus equals display minus room width, comma display mouse get y. Um, maybe it is. Hold on a second. Uh, I gotta. Check why it's not working right. Um, display mouse get. Oh, that's why. Okay, so it's this. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Normally I know these codes by heart, but whatever. Uh, so that's what you gotta have. You gotta have direction minus equals display mouse get X. Minus display get width uh, divide by two divide by five. Next is z next uh, minus equals and these I'm also gonna look at the code for. Um, we're just gonna copy this, make this tutorial faster. All the editable example in the description. So oops, I do need that. Okay, there. It's Z next minus equals display mouse get Y minus display get height divided by two and then all that divided by two. Uh, next, let's get this code. Display mouse set. This is setting the mouse in a certain position of the room. So display mouse set 
display get width divided by 2, display get height. So this is taking your room, dividing it by 2 on your width and height, and setting your mouse right there. Next is x next uh, equals 100 direction direction plus x whoops out x and x equals no minus equals minus no what is it what the heck it's the yeah I was oh I was wrong okay so this will be equals length der x and then we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it down here and instead of x next it will be y next y next and y we're gonna go ahead and end both those codes um, and the last thing for this and we're just gonna copy it is these two this is real simple it shot down so I'm gonna bring it back into the game alright so it's draw set color C white simply setting the color and setting the projection so X Y Z X next Y next Z next zero zero one uh, so that's that's that okay so now go ahead and go into your room and uh bring your player set him right there all right now for if you go into the views tab enable the use of views and then visible when room starts and then you're following the player uh that's definitely what you need so if we run the game um what the heck hold on a second um okay there we go. Here's our game right here. So you have this. Uh, you can jump. It's really corny and dodgy, but whatever. Um, so you can jump. You can crouch. And you go real low. And you go back to normal. And yeah. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial on firing and um, sprinting, sprinting is really easy to figure out. But if you want me to make a tutorial on walls, rooms, models, everything. Uh, I will go ahead and make a tutorial. So, hope you guys like this video. Have any questions, comments, concerns, leave a uh, comment below. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.